today I got the Makita DJR183. This is Makita's one-handed recip saw, compact design. As you can see, it's a very thin design compared to uh, other manufacturers. It's uh, first thing you'll notice is the dual position handles to operate this uh, this tool. You have your traditional trigger type, which has a lock button on both sides. So you just press down the lock button, and you get a saw operating through the trigger. But as well is that if you want a little bit more control and a little bit more finesse, you can grab it by the handle and it will operate. You got a 10 second afterglow here for the light. You have a tool free uh, design here for the blade change. So all you have to do is just stick it in and it locks in place. And it works really good. And Great thing is that you don't have to touch the blade to eject, you just pull the collar and it goes. So that's really nice, I like that feature. One thing that this tool has compared to other manufacturers is that the shoe on top of here is adjustable. It's not pivoting, but it is adjustable. So you do have an onboard Allen key storage here. You feed, the, you feed it underneath here, there's a slot where the Allen key will go. And you unscrew it and you can extend it. It'll give you at least uh, around almost an inch or so of extension and all you got to do at your proper depth you just screw it back on there and you're ready to go. So very well done. So this tool is 16 inches long from the shoe depth to the edge of the battery. It's a very lightweight tool actually. It's only four pounds with this battery, so it's very, very light. And you don't really feel any difference. Too much difference when you put the big battery in. It's got only a half inch stroke length. So this is more comparable to their M12 hacksaw uh, that has a half inch stroke length as well. If, when we see the performance on it, you, uh, you'll, you'll see it for yourself what it can and cannot So do. now I got the DJR183 here with a wood blade, a four inch wood blade. And I do, I'm gonna show you the one-handed operation capa uh, capability uh, with this saw. I'm gonna use the paddle switch down here, which makes uh, one-handed cuts a lot easier to control compared to the trigger operated uh, style. Uh, I personally find that short blades, six inches and under, are more effective on this saw than uh, anything more 9 inch and 12 inch. So definitely a short, shorter the blade, the better the result. So it did a pretty good job. Uh, the vibration is, is not that much. It's a very low vibrating saw. My advice is to use that if you're going to use this tool for anything, just keep it with a short blade and try not to go too much in terms of cutting capability. It's only two inch for wood, two inch pipe is max as well as the cutting capability according to Makita. So, just so now we got on. the Makita with a metal cutting blade here. Uh, I got some copper pipe clamped to the vise. Uh, we're going to take a look at the metal cutting capability with this. That's pretty clean, Wayne. So now I got the DJR183 with a uh, wood blade. Uh, I'm just going to cut you, uh, cut a piece of this uh, 2 inch AVS here. So you'll find yourself like again, just small cuts like here and there. Uh, just to hold to show you the capability. So this is the max cap, uh, max capacity that the manual says. So let's give it a shot. Got this uh, tie rod in here. 
and we got the DJR183 here with this tie rod end. Uh, I put a metal blade on it, and uh, we're going to give it a shot and see what uh, what it can do. Uh, hopefully, it will be able to cut this. Let's see. Pretty impressed. It, it did cut it with uh, very little ease. Handled on its own. And like I said, the blade's hot. You just eject it with no hands touching it. It's beautiful. I love that. So uh, I'm going to use this uh, Makita DJR183. I got some nail embedded wood here. Uh, and I just put just two more drywall screws. I just want to see if it can actually take it, especially with a 4 by material that has nail embedded or screw embedded wood. Uh, it would make a pretty hard test for this guy. So I just want to see if it, if it can accomplish it without very little trouble. experience with this. This uh, tool did make through it but it did have a lot of difficulty doing it. So that's the Makita DJR183 compact recip saw. Uh, this will be a decent attempt. A decent attempt I'll give it to, to Makita. Uh, I do think that it's uh, underwhelming in power especially for an 18 volt. Uh, we saw with the two by four cutting through nails, uh, it was bogging down. It was, the nails were being uh, grabbed on by the saw just, and the saw just couldn't come back and have enough power to power through those nails. But if you do have an 18 volt lineup of um, Akita power tools, I think this is a great addition to have, uh, especially for compact areas. I think that it would help you in a long run. That way you don't have to stick a big saws on tight space uh, with this. So uh, give it a thumbs up if you liked the video. Comment if about the tool and subscribe. Thanks for watching.